everyone, Itanes here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Angels of Death. I'm using the new microphone today. Um, last time we escaped from six, the sixth floor, I believe. I don't remember most of the controls, though, so it'll be kind of interesting because it's been a few days. Um, I'm going to try to beat this game before Resident Evil 7 comes out. That is my hope. Where am I? Get to my. Okay, here we go. Some sort of reservation list. There's a computer, but it's turned off. Ah, right, I have to use these. There's a computer, but it's turned off. Okay. Oh! No! Hi! Okay, hello! You know me? How do you know Rachel? Do you not recognize me? I was the one who examined you. Can you remember? I'm the doctor who gave you counseling. The doctor who examined me? Rachel, what's wrong? Look, it's me. Dr. Danny. What's wrong with your eye? I'm concerned. Daniel Dickens. A.K.A. Danny. Okay. Your eye is freaking me out. I don't trust you. Could it be Dr. Dr. Danny, my therapist? You're a little confused, huh? But I don't blame you. This place is horrific. But rest assured, it is I, your therapist. Right? Why would you ask me that? That's right. Yes, doctor. Good. Besides all that, you're safe. Doctor, what on earth is this place? Also, something was chasing me. What is that thing? I'm not entirely sure myself, but the thing chasing you is probably the Psycho Killer. The Psycho Killer? This place, it's like a site for some game. Being hunted by a Psycho Killer and good as dead if caught. It says that it chases its victims. Are you not hurt, Doctor? I was here when I came to you. It looks like there's no other staff here but me. Doctor, I'm absolutely terrified. Rachel is perfectly natural to be scared. At any rate, let's get going. If possible, I'd like to get through this whole ordeal alive with you. Yes, doctor. Uh, how do I run again? Was it shift? Yes, it was shift. Let's go in here. The computer shows data regarding eye ailments. Oh, you guys can hear my keyboard. Shit. Um. I gotta fix that. Hey, honey. Can I have the box? Hello. I need the box. He's playing P.O.E. so... His, it can keep the keyboard. Thank you. Look! It's just a box. It's just a box. Oh dear. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Damn it. Um, okay, hang on. Let's move the microphone. Alright, how's that? Hopefully it's a little better. Okay, you guys can't- okay. I was just making sure that you couldn't hear my keyword. Computer shows data regarding eye ailments. There's some sort of medical chart inside. A lot of it appears to be about eye-related ailments. Dude, is this? No, kid, come on. The glass shelf is locked. Now, the equipment here is old, so it's a good idea to keep your hands off of it. You don't want your eyes getting hurt. I don't trust you. The bed is neatly made. Aren't your eyes tired? How about you take a nap? At a time like this? You're right. Wow, Rachel, you must be as sharp as a tack to take note of something like that. He's trying to rip my eye out! Oh my god! Don't fucking lie to me. It appears to be locked. I wonder where the key is. I don't fucking know. There are clocks and pens scattered everywhere. I turn on the computer. Can I do anything? Oh, it's locked. I'm pretty sure there was a key in the examination room. You're gonna try to kill me! Oh my god! 
Something's on the chest. I fired a key. Nice job, Rachel. I'm pretty sure I was sitting there. You didn't try to escape? Well, I was worried about you. Besides, you've got a good head on your shoulders, so I knew you'd make it this far. I don't trust this Manny Fanny person. Danny Manny? Manny Danny? Whatever. Danny Phantom? Die. <laughs> How dare you? I wonder where the key is. <laughs> is this key not meant to be used yet? Oh. This key? Ah, my lips are so dry. <laughs> Using the key opened the door and it's making Itanes really scared. If anything, I'd like to beat episode one. I'll probably beat the rest of the game later on when I have nothing else to do. Uh, perhaps the way for... Uh-huh. Let's proceed with caution. Shut your fucking whore mouth. Whoa! Okay. Is there... It looks like there are multiple rooms. I think the one in the back is the way out, so shall we look there first? Dude, you're gonna kill her! This way is locked too. Shall we look elsewhere? We'll be fine. If we stay together and take our time, maybe it'll lead to something good. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth! A glass wall is blocking the way to the other side. We're glassed in. As fate would have it, it appears you and I are trapped. Don't sound so happy about this, dude. You're freaking me out. This must be a private room. For patients? Yeah, a special one. Do you know what your heart wishes for? Is it desire? If that is your impulse, then there's no point to resist. From here, you possess no such essence. However, every wish has its pride. Price. Don't don't forget the rule. Don't break the rules. Rules? There must be rules for this place. For instance, that guy chasing you hasn't followed you all the way here. There's got to be a set of rules this place follows. What do we wish for? What does it mean? Well, different strokes for different folks, I guess. For me, it'd be a set of beautiful peepers. I got a bad eye, don't care for its color either. <sighs> no! I don't trust this guy! Rachel, if I had peepers like yours, that would be oh so lovely. Oh. My. Jesus. Scared. Concerned. It says an emergency call button, but it's already been pressed and is unusable. This is the patient's room. Don't be scared, Rachel. It's just a bunch of beds. I don't fucking know that. There's something written on the wall, but it's covered in dust and illegible. I gotta get rid of the dust. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You'll get something in your eyes. There's surely some, just some sort of patient's frivolous whimper. Just a regular Joe psychological gripe, that's all. Can you make it out? Nah, I got a bad eye. So it wouldn't do much to read it. But the dust. Stop right there. You don't want to get anything in your eyes. Take care of those beautiful peepers. Those beautiful, beautiful peepers of yours. I don't like him! Oh no, Rachel baby, get out of there! Fuck this dude, seriously. There's a glass window, but it has no depth. It looks like a prop. Some sort of scratch marks are on the window. Rachel, do you know what these markings are? Um, here's a hint. Patience made those scratches. So what's their significance? Beats me. That's okay. Markings made by patients are of no consequence to you. Oh yeah, come to think of it, I have the key that leads to the back. So, like, take- why do you have the key? It's been a pleasure to be with me. I'm so scared. Okay, I'll open it then. It's dark, so be careful. Fuck you. An operating room? Yes, Rachel. I'm a little scared. Scared? Why? Hey, Rachel. Your peepers. Can I admire them forever? Fuck no, dude. Get away from me. Hmm? Oh, Rachel. Your peepers are so beautiful, but they're stricken with fear. Reduced to such dullness. It saddens me. Show me the true beauty of your eyes. Will awakening from this nightmare restore the beautiful tranquility of the that blue moon in your peepers? I'm so sad 
and scared. Rachel, I want to live besides those peepers. Doctor? Let's take a minute to look around here. Maybe I'll find something. I left something important around here. I gotta find it. Maybe you'll find some peace of mind too, Rachel. Fuck this guy. Seriously. I'm s Rachel! Oh, shut up, bitch. Are you going further? It's dark in the hallway, so be careful. If you find what I'm looking for there, please bring it to me. What are you looking for? Did you forget? Look at me with those beautiful peepers. I know you'll remember. Here's a clue. My eye is Alexandrite. Oh, I don't fucking like this guy. What is this place? Is what you're looking around for here, doctor? Numerous eyeballs are bobbing up and down in what appears to be a, a case containing culture fluid. These are eyes. They're all blue. Some sort of machine is running. Uh-oh. Numerous glass eyes are inside. Which one should I take? Uh, I, mm. Bloop. I don't know what color Alexandrite is off the top of my head. Maybe Anima. Anima! Mm -hmm. What color is Alexandrite? What color what? What color is Alexandrite? Alexandrite? Yes, it's a jewel. I'm pretty sure it's like purple. Oh, I don't have purple. I have red, blue, and green. Or like a blue. I got blue. A liquid-filled bottle has something floating inside. The part of it is crushed and the milk liquid is murky, making it hard to make out. There's lots of empty bottles. I am scared shitless. It's like a blue or green, I think. Bottles containing some sort of specimen sits side by side. Do I have what you're looking for, doctor? Here, doctor. Is this for me? You know I adore blue eyes, much like yours. But I don't need a blue one. To your peepers, this pales in comparison. If our peepers are blue, all I need is you. So it's not blue. Is it red? <laughs> doctor scaring me. Here, doctor. Rachel, what a lovely red glass eye. I fancy this color. Is that why you chose this color? Were you thinking of me? Still, you were close. Close, but no cigar. I'll keep it, though, okay? Okay, and a green, apparently. Alexandrite's not green, is it? Alexandrite's usually, like, blue or green. Oh, I'm dumb. Take the last one. Ah, I'm so scared my stomach hurts. Ah. Uh. Okay. Here, doctor. Green, I see. Did you pick this out for me? Rachel... Could I have slipped into your subconscious? But you're getting warmer. Point your beautiful gaze at me. It's just me, Dr. Danny. Oh, Rachel, I was so careless. My glass eye is in a place that's locked. And the key was in my pocket all along. Here. Huh? If it's all right with you, I'd like you to find my eye. Won't you do that for me, Rachel? Find my eye? This dude is fucking... He's gonna kill her! Rachel, it's dangerous to go out that by yourself. It's not here. Place that's locked. Numerous bottles neatly arranged on a shelf labeled red. Numerous bottles green, blue, brown, hazel. Blue, blue, green, green. Why is that one hazel? <laughs> this key, should it be used on the shelf with all this gla dead glass eyes inside? These are eyes, uh-huh. <laughs> Glass eyes inside. It has two eyeballs jammed inside it. God damn it! Rachel, doctor. Oh, you found it. 
this is what I was looking for. Is this glass eye yours? It sure is. Does it not make you feel anything? Remember anything? Oh. You must be dreaming still. Mind if I borrow that? I'm just not myself unless it's in. I must have it in for both of us. Rachel. Yeah? Thank you, Rachel. I'm gonna put this in now. Could you go in the room outside for a bit? Yeah! You mustn't run now. That's funny. He's acting strange. No, shit! I'm scared. Is it safe to stay and wait here for him? How about no? It's locked. Doctor, did you do this? I gotta get away from him. I need to find something to open this. I wonder if there was something around where the doctor was earlier. Something's behind the apparatus. Try to crowbar. This ought to take care of that door. I won't open with just my hands. I'll just pop this open in the gap. It's rigid, but... Just a bit more. There, it opened. Oh, son of a bitch! Rachel, where are you going? Uh, um, didn't I tell you that running's a bad idea? This is my floor. Doctor, if you run off to another floor, then I can't treat you. How can I? Nope. My wish was just to gaze into your living peepers. But no, this won't do. Your living view peepers are exactly what the doctor ordered. That's why I gotta ask you, Rachel. Can I have your peepers? <laughs> Rachel, your face. Let go. The exuberance I loved is no longer in your peepers. It saddens me so, Rachel. Can't you remember? Why isn't you here? Why is this happening to you? If you could, then you'd redeem yourself. Let your peepers regain their luster and come live with me, Rachel. Mm, nope. Please, doctor, let me out of here. Rachel, still, your peepers are far more breathtaking than any other person's. I want to see mom and dad. Please let me go. Let her go, please. Please let her go. Rachel? There, there. You'll see your mom and dad in good time. They're waiting for you. In hell. Okay, Rachel. What was that? Give me your peepers. Rachel? Rachel. Rachel! Oh my, your peepers are so beautiful and never ceases to amaze me. Here, I'll release you from this right now. Alright, let's go, Rachel. Oh, I am as happy as a lark. Oh, hi, who are you? <laughs> hi, Zach! Hey, Danny, what are you so happy about? I couldn't take it anymore, so I slashed you. Hey, little missy. Going after you got me in a hell of a mess. Do you want to live? If you do, then run. Run and squirm, clean your hope. Time to get slashed. Hi, Zach. Shit. What a dull reaction. Even with the tip of my blade against you, you don't have the will. Don't you have the will to live? Uh oh, something bad happened. I'm a respectable male adult, so I'm not into shredding emotionless dolls. <laughs> Betrayer alert! The sixth floor's master has attacked the fifth floor's master. This is a violation of the rules. Along with Rachel, the betrayer also is he out here by a sacrifice. <laughs> Uh-oh. No fucking way. Shit, better run for it. Oh yeah. I'm not meant to live. Rachel? 
glass wall is shattered. Shit, it won't budge. Not even if I beat on it. What the hell am I gonna do? Who the hell are you? What are you doing? Showing up, like, here on your own the damn place. Um... I got a favor to ask. Huh? Please. Kill me. Huh? What? I'm so... Ew, grody. Don't ask me to do creepy shit like that. I got no time for crazy bitches like you. If you're just gonna spew out shit like that, how about getting this door open? You got it. Gross, gross. Alright. Maybe the doctor has it. What happened, Rachel? Hey, are you the one who opened this elevator? Yep, that's right. Quack, 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 quack. So it was you, huh? Hey, didn't you say earlier you wanted me to kill you? Sure did. I'm such an idiot. So yeah, let's work together to get the hell out of this place. Then once you're frolicking outside with a goddamn stupid grin, I'll kill ya. Really? Well, that is if you behave. Okay. Alright, now let's get the hell out of here. Isaac Foster. Or Zach. Hey. I got two rules. No fucking around and no prancing around like all merry-like. I got a big problem with fuckers who look so happy. Whenever I see them, I can't help but kill them. Whatever you say. Well, with a dead look in your eyes, I probably ain't gonna worry. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. Just cause. Oh, never mind. Damn it. It's chilly here. Shit, we're only on week four. Let's get out of here already. Move it. Now I'm going to stop here, guys, uh, just because we did finish the floor. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later!